Hi, boys and girls. Miss Kelsey and I are out here today playing I Spy. I Spy is our new theme this month, and we are looking for some amazing things. More specifically, amazing things that God made. Like yeah. these beautiful flowers. Or those birds up there. Or the sunshine. What a beautiful day we have. Yes, it is. But Kelsey, I gotta tell you, of all the things that we see today that God made, there's something that is my most favorite thing that God made. What's that? Well, you know, I could tell you, but I would rather show you. Oh my goodness, Miss Sarah, you have me so curious. Maybe we could check out our video from Ollie and we can figure out Miss Sarah's surprise when we come back. Sounds like a plan. Check out today's story. I'm Poppy, and I just learned this super cool game. It's called I Spy. Someone gives you the clues, and you have to figure out the thing they're talking about. I know, I'll give you clues, and you can help spy. If you're ready to play the game, shout out I Spy. Ready? One, two, three, I Spy. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye. Something blue, it has strings, and it can play music. Can you guys guess what it is? Wow, you guys are good! It's a guitar! Okay, here's another one. I spy with my little eye. 
something that's shaped like a smile. It's yellow as a peel, and it's super yummy. You got it, it's a banana. I brought this for my snack. Ho, ho. Hey, I spy with my little eye something orange. It has feathers and it's super smart. That's right, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Ho, ho. Playing a guessing game, are you? Hey, Ollie, we're playing I Spy. It's so much fun. We spied a banana, a guitar, and you. I'm easy to spy, it's true. But there's someone more special to spy for you. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. I spy with my little eye. Stormy's boom! You found it! Good job, Stormy Jane. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We were just playing I Spy, but I know you came here for a story. Do you think we could keep playing I Spy while we tell the story? You do? Great! Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins a long time ago when God sent an angel to a woman named Mary. Does anyone see an angel? Make some binoculars like this and look with me. I spy with my little eye an angel. The angel had a very special message for Mary. She was going to have a baby boy. The baby's name would be Jesus and he would be God's son. Jesus is very special because Jesus is God's son. Mary and Joseph traveled to a city called Bethlehem. Do you see a city? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye a city called Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they had to stay in a stable where animals live. Mary and Joseph rested and waited for baby Jesus to be born. Then it happened. Jesus was born. Let's look for baby Jesus. Ready? I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Mary wrapped baby Jesus and laid him in a manger. Now Jesus didn't just stay a baby. He grew up and did amazing things only he can do. Jesus told a thunderstorm to stop and it stopped. Jesus made sick people all better. Jesus even fed over 5,000 people with just a few pieces of bread and fish. Jesus did so many amazing things. The people who saw Jesus do these amazing things wrote them down. And now we can read the stories in the Bible. These stories teach us that Jesus is real and can do amazing things. Now we all can believe in Jesus. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is God's son, the most special thing to spy for you. Thanks, Allie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Jesus is God's son. He did so many amazing things. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hmm. Hey, I spelled with my little eye something blue. It's a book and has stories about Jesus. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a Bible. And I'm gonna spy two stories about the best thing ever, Jesus.
These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. to share your surprise with us? I am. So we did see a lot of things out there. We saw some birds, some pretty cool animals, and of course those really neat shapes out there in the clouds. But of all of the things that God has made, the thing that reminds me the most of God and His Son Jesus are the people, the people that He made. When I see people doing some of the amazing things that Jesus did, like loving and caring for people, it reminds me of Him. Let me show you. Like my friend Harry here. You see, Harry, he helped to give shoes to people who didn't have any. Wow. And then of course there's this one here. See, here are some friends from HB Kids that volunteered. They made meals for people who were hungry. They packed meals for Kids Pack. And they fed people just like Jesus did. And then of course there's our HP Kids Sunday School <laughs> teachers. Look at Grandma Pam Aww. here teaching her three-year-old <laughs> class. Oh, she loves them so much. And then of course, Miss Jody and Jamicia. <laughs> you see, Jesus challenges us to love others and to serve them. And when our HP Sunday School teachers are serving the children, they're doing amazing things, amazing things just like Jesus did. See, he challenges us to love each other, to care for each other, to take care of each other. And that's what my friends do, people 
people remind me the most of God more than anything else that we saw today. That is so amazing. I came up with this idea right now when you were talking to me, and I thought since we're in the series I Spy, maybe this week our boys and girls would love to play I Spy with us, looking out for friends just like you did. Kelsey, that is a really good idea. In fact, parents, we may need your help with this. This week, we are challenging all of our HP Kids families to help us find some God sightings. Perhaps they'll be within your home or your neighborhoods, even in our community. When you see people or examples of people loving and living like Jesus, we want you to snap a pic or take a video. Upload those things to social media and don't forget to tag HP Kids so we can celebrate with you. Yeah, and until next week, don't forget that God made you, God loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.